when navigating your computer or performing simple tasks. Using keyboard shortcuts will increase your productivity, save you time, and also reduce the strain on your wrist by not having to use your mouse as often. In this video, I'll show you more than 20 awesome shortcuts for Windows that will make you a keyboard wizard. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. Let's start off with the essential shortcuts first that use the Windows key. You'll find the Windows key located in the lower left of your keyboard. To open the Settings app, most people go to the Start menu and select the Settings icon. Let's close this out. An easier way of opening settings is to hold down the Windows key plus the I key. A handy tip to navigate settings or any other app or program is to use the Tab key to jump to the next section and then use the arrow keys to move around. Hit the Enter key on your keyboard to make your selection. Using the Windows key plus A will open your Action Center. This is where you can see your notifications and get quick access to your settings. To open the File Explorer, hold down the Windows key plus E. You can even use the shortcut to open more than one instance, which is useful if you ever need to transfer files to other folders. To quickly find programs, files, and folders on your computer, hold down the Windows key plus S. Type your search term. If necessary, use the arrow keys to navigate your search and hit enter. There are several ways to take a screenshot to capture any part of your screen, we find the Snip and Sketch tool built into Windows works pretty well. To use it, hold down the Windows key, Shift key, and then press S to launch it. Your choices left to right are rectangular, freeform, window, and full screen. For example, to take a rectangular screenshot, you'll have to use your mouse to left click and drag the area, kind of like this, and then let go. This will automatically create a copy in your clipboard so you can paste it wherever you want it. To open the clipboard to see the stuff you've copied, simply hold down the Windows key plus V. To paste any of those listed in your clipboard, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to outline the one you want to paste and hit enter on your keyboard. The newest versions of Windows include a built-in emoji panel that comes in handy when commenting on a social media site, YouTube, when composing an email, or anywhere else that you want to use it. Hold down the Windows key plus period key to open it. Then use the tab and arrow keys to navigate each section, hitting the enter key on each emoji you want to use. Let's suppose that you have multiple windows open and you want to take a quick look at your desktop for a saved file, folder, or program. Hold down the Windows key plus D. To bring back those opened windows, hold down the Windows and D key once again. If you have a microphone connected to your computer, another cool feature built into the latest versions of Windows is their dictation tool. To open it, hold down the Windows key plus H. It's so much fun being a dictator, period. Most of you know by now that tapping the Windows key will open the Start menu. To bring up the Quick Links, which is often referred to as the Hidden Start menu, hold down the Windows key plus X. Here you can quickly access the PowerShell, Device Manager, Power Options, and other useful stuff. Using the Windows key plus any number key will open programs you have pinned to your taskbar. Imagine they're numbered from left to right, 1 through 9, and 0. For example, the Microsoft Store is first on the left, so hold down the Windows key plus 1 to open it. The Vivaldi browser is fourth from the left, so that would be the Windows key and 4. Snapping an open window is a great way to get more resources on your monitor. To do this, hold down the Windows key plus the left or right arrow keys to move it to either side. We'll put this one here on the right. When you let go of the shortcut keys, use the arrow keys to choose what open window will fill the other half of the screen. This works great for side-by-side -side viewing. There may be times when you need to print a web page or any other kind of document from another program that you have difficulty finding the print button. Holding down the control key plus P makes things so much easier. For those times you need to quickly switch to another open program, hold down the Alt key and repeatedly press the Tab key until you find your program and let go. For those times you need to select every file in a folder or all of the text from a document, hold down control plus A. This is quite a bit faster than using your mouse to drag an area. 
When closing a program, instead of looking for exit in the menus or clicking X in the upper right, hold down the Alt key and the F4 function key to close it out. If you're working with an unsaved document, it'll still ask if you want your document saved. Using the backspace key, as all of you know, will delete one character at a time. More efficiently, holding down Control and tapping the backspace key will delete full words. On the flip side, to delete entire words to the right of the cursor, hold down the Control key and tap the Delete key. To move your cursor within a document, word by word, hold down Control and use the left and right arrow keys. In addition, if you hold down Control and Shift using the left and right arrow keys, this will highlight full words. And the up and down arrow keys while holding down Control and Shift will highlight entire paragraphs. These next few will be shortcuts that you can use in your web browser. Using the F5 function key will refresh the web page you're currently on. F5 can also refresh File Explorer in your desktop as well. To quickly cycle through your browser tabs from left to right, Hold down Control and press Tab. To cycle in reverse from right to left, hold down Control Shift and press Tab. If you're like me and always closing tabs that you didn't intend to close, this one is especially useful. Holding down Control Shift and T will bring those tabs back. Here's a recap of the keyboard shortcuts presented in the first half of this video using the Windows key. And here's a summary of the others presented in the second half of this video. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What are your favorite keyboard shortcuts? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest Windows tips and tricks videos and other tech related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.